another one. Made the middle today and they my last one. Oh, I had to get back up. I had to get back up. Closing the top on the raindrop. I'm keeping the game in the headlock. When it throw it blind in my dreadlock. In the end zone with the med doc. One phone call, get it dead stop. I feel like I own the season. Say one thing, just give me a reason. Knowing you're mad, I'm undefeated. Top dog, making it even. Oh, I had to get back up. Back up. I had to get back up. First opened in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New York Jets and the Detroit Lions. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Johnson give him three there on the first play of the game and it's second down what's the old expression three yards in a cloud of dust in this case it's dust covered pellets it's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up now we've got that artificial surface you see the pellets go up still a nice play by the defense Here's second and seven now from the 28. Chopper, chopper! Show it up, show it up! Slam, slam, slam! Bang, bang! Now a play fake. Carr. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. From the gun, it's Carr. Now he'll let it go deep over the middle. And got his man complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That's a first down and then some, a 32-yard pickup. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Watch twist. Low, low, low. Slam. Check 52. Sure. 66. Bullet high. Out of the pistol, here's Johnson. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Carr completes it. It's a gain of five on the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. 
I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it and really gets them amped up as they go forward. From the gun now on third down, Carr. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off down near the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He's coming off a three interception performance last week, so certainly not how he wanted to start here. Not at all, but this is where a quarterback gets tested. This is where we find out what he has underneath that jersey because he had a bad game last week. Can he shake off a bad start to this one and start to perform at the level he expects? On first down, Ricks. He's going to have the first down past the 20 as they'll finally stop him at the 23-yard line. 17 yards for the Jets there as they've got themselves a first down. Right back to him on first down. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. First carry here for Todd Gurley. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. And a nice little broken tackle run there by Todd Gurley, the 10th pick in the 2015 draft. And that's what you get with him. That full package of speed, power, able to catch the ball of the backfield. Many people doubted him coming out because of the knee injury in college. <laughs> They're seeing the full Todd Gurley now, and it hurts. On first down, it's Darling. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. This is the correct call. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Now a give, right side. Ricks, he's got the first down inside the 10. And all the way down to the 5. Add this game to the last one, and they move the ball over 50 yards in two plays. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try the left side. Ricks. And this time they're able to bottle him up as they'll stop him at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Recon, 152 fighter. On second down now, Ricks, 
And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. On third down, Ricks. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. A five-yard loss there is going to bring up fourth down. Okay, so you just took the big loss. Now what are you doing on fourth down? Well, we have a change of plans now is what we have because I think they were looking at the play sheet, trying to dial something up to go for it on fourth down. But after that loss, that goes right out the window. Now you have to kick the field goal and hope to come back down the next time and score. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. They'll run it with Johnson. And Johnson lost the football. It's loose, poked out, and it's scooped up by the Jets. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Wait, wait, wait. 32 Jet Bombers. 32 Jet Bombers. 36. You got tight. You got tight. So following the fumble recovery, here's Darnold. And Darnold, he lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. No gain on the play. Brings up third down. On third down, they'll run it with Gurley. He gets a good chunk of yards there, eight all told, but they're still looking at a fourth down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. So not sure how they feel about that. They had golden field position to start the drive after the fumble recovery, but they went backward and then got three. Well, let's go from gold to silver because the silver lining is they got the three, right? You were talking about the golden field position. They didn't take advantage of it. That has to feel like a letdown. You always stand ready to pounce. <laughs> always. On first down, Carr. Escaping the pressure right. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. That one goes for 24 yards. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Hey, we're good, we're good. Right, right Monday, down. <laughs> On play action, now Carr. They'll let this go for the end zone. And he's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. A big play there. With 
touchdown number 12 on the year. As his guys can now take the lead with the extra point. Extra point right down the middle. And they take the lead here at 7-6. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. That's fielded in the end zone. The Jets take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And, you know, certainly a lot of football left to be played. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're first place in their division, looking good, looking to be a threat come January. And let's think about what every team has in their goals, all right? Number one goal is what? Make the playoffs. Number two goal is win your division. Number three goal, and the biggest goal, I think, is to be the highest seed possible that you can be heading into the playoffs so that you can grab as many home games as possible to try and get you to the Super Bowl. And right now fighting for everyone possible to try to at least secure home field for the wild card and or divisional round. The Jets on third down, just one for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Just enough to get the first down there with a one-yard pickup. We ought to come up with a T-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulder square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted. But it winds up falling incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver that time. And that'll bring up second down. We're going to sign. Check my 40. Hey, tight, tight down, tight down. There you go. Check it back. Check it back. Hey, hey. Shit, shit. Shit. Watch the safety creep. Now it's Donald. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. This defense tightening up a bit. That last catch just one yard, making it third and nine. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. Incomplete. He had his hands on it but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Let's go! Let's go! That Let's go! is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line absolutely ideal from that position you're hoping to get it down inside the 15 inside the five superb they begin the drive with johnson looking for a seam but finding none he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and that's it officially no gain on the play and it's second down so after the run for no gain here's second and ten Here's Johnson. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. 13 yards on the play. That's good for the Lions. First down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. The first down carry here for Johnson. Carry 
It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now they'll throw with Carr. That's complete to Hines out of the backfield. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. On first and ten, here's Carr. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. But he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. On play action, it's Carr. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> the Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. Not wanting to risk another sack, they'll play it safe for the run. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people... He's got a man complete. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. A big play there as the first half is winding down and the Jets are going to retake the lead. So they're able to capture the lead here just before halftime. And not only that, they get the ball to start the second yeah, half. That's right. This is almost like basketball down the stretch, right? Where you... And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. But they tried to get two and ended up getting none. Because the quarterback had nowhere to go, the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. On the ground, this is Johnson. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down.
Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Play action, now it's Carr. Polluted, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And the Jets set to receive this third quarter kickoff, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in the second half. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had an ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. The play fake, and it's Darnold. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. 22 yards there, a first down. They'll run on first down. Ricks, and forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they've stopped him cold. That To me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. On second and 15 now. Darnold, and that one's complete to Gurley. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and just like that, it's third down. He felt the pressure coming there. That was a good job of just making something out of nothing, so to speak. Yeah, took the hit and still made the play. You know, when we talk about runners, all right, and on running plays, runs after contact, we call that getting dirty yards, tough, gritty ones. To me, that's like the version of a dirty pass. He knows he's going to get smacked, yet still delivers the football and picks up good yardage. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Back to throw, Darnold. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see a breakdown as the passer, I think in this situation, you were throwing it at the feet of your... Donald, he lost the football. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. So after the fumble recovery, it's Carr. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Watch the slant. 
To throw again. Carr. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Marcus May with a pick. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. They'll keep it on the ground. Ricks. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. They go play action here on first down. They'll rifle this one deep right side. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Here's Darnold. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. The last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Now Jordan. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Todd Gurley. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Jets will extend their lead. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right, because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, whoever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. To throw on second and ten. Carr. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. He's picked off at his own 47. And it's a touchdown for the Jets. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think I'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they gave up the pick six. And now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go around? You should be, just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in, and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful, because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. All evidence to the contrary on that last possession, though. Carr. Got a man. It's Tanyan complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. That's a staple of this offense. Drag round to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen. 
To throw, it's Carr. Underneath for Johnson. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 11 yards there and a lion first down. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First down. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield, and oftentimes it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. The Lions on third down, just one for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. Well, this is how you shake the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw ten interceptions in a row. I'm going to stay confident keep flinging it. I'll just figure there's something wrong with the football. 29. 29. They'll go for it. It's Carr. There goes a deep ball in zone, and they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. The Lions turned away on fourth down, and the Jets are going to get the football back. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs, the most recent example, and now a big seam, and he might go all the way. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. A great effort there. His 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Jets will extend their lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down, it caused, all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. Mm -hmm. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. <laughs> so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. 56. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. 15 yards for the Lions there and a first down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Throwing on first down is Carr. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. 
Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Throwing again. Carr. Dumping it off for Johnson. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now Carr. Going to throw right side here, complete. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Carr going to go on fourth down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The Lions turned away on fourth down, and the Jets are going to get the football back. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now, first and 10 at their own 43. To throw is Darnold. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. The incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense can crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. A nice job to get eight there after the incompletion, and now they'll look at a third and two coming up. The Jets on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This time they face a third and two. They'll keep it on the ground. Ricks. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. 20, 10, touchdown, Detroit. A big play there. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Lions are able to cut into this lead. Extra point splits the uprights. And that'll make this a 19-point ball game. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. That's fielded in the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. The run on first down gets him a couple up to the 27. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. Ricks, they're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Darnold. He finds Roberts complete. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. He got 29 yards that time. On first down, Ricks 
And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Well, Brandon, he's had a great day, but sometimes the other guys make a play against you. What's that expression they like to use in the NFL? Those guys get paid, too, you know. Yeah, in college they say, hey, they're on scholarship, too, in the NFL. They're getting paid, too. With the day he's had, you can have one go in the wrong direction. Fighting room inside the 40. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. A fourth-quarter score now from Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. No problem for the Steelers. They have opened that lead up a bit further. If they hold on, it would be win number 10 for them on the year. They'll run on first down. Ricks, heck of a move, but only able to work his way down near the 23. Trey Flowers there on the tackle.
Yeah. <laughs>